All right, this is a quadcopter I'm going to be selling. It's the Armatan V3, um, 258 millimeters. Um, this is not actually the model I will be selling, but the one I will be selling will be identical to this with a couple differences. Uh, this one is running a copter control uh, board. It's got the, the, the black top plate. Uh, the one I'll be selling will have the KK2 board and a clear top plate so that you can see the display on the, um, on the KK2 board. Other than that, the quad will be identical to that. V3 center, center plates, uh, CNC arms, uh, 1800 kV motors, 2822, 7 inch props, and it's going to have uh, 20 amps Simon K F20 ESC. So exactly the same you see here is what it's going to be. Um, I've not taken it out to fly it because I don't want to risk crashing it and I want to show some performance with it a little bit today. So I'm going to show the performance with this, but essentially the KK2 board will run this thing just the exact same thing as the, the copter control uh, board. So you're, you're going to be looking at the same performance. Um, I will post pictures though of the, the, the new, this one isn't new, the other one is new, it was built for a friend of mine uh, who broke his arm uh, skiing in Vancouver and so he gave me the okay to sell sell his and build him one later once he's recovered. Uh, so this is basically going to be the first V3 available for sale, uh, so whoever buys this will be the first owner of a V3 on a tan. Um, so yeah, I will be making a quick video now and then I'll post this video along with pictures of the identical model with different board and different top plate along with this video in the classified on RC groups. And if you're interested, contact me and we'll go from there. So let's have a look how this little guy flies for us today. I could be using bigger motors on it. If I have set up some 2826s on some of these little boards, uh, little little platforms uh, recently and it's pretty incredibly fast but I settled with the 282 1800 kV for this one uh, just to kind of get the best of both worlds. The performance is still outstanding except flight time is quite a bit longer so I, I went with that instead. I think it's maybe something preferred by you know most people who yes. like to have a little longer flight time. Have a look. The arms being so short on this makes for an incredibly tough little tough little quad. Very tough to break. Probably the toughest in the world in fact. I would say. Whoop.
Oop. I guess this will be a good opportunity to show durability. Although crashing in tall grass like this is not the same as crashing on pavement, I suppose. You just find it now. That's that. That's the Armatan 258. All right, just to be clear, this is mine. It's not the one I'm selling, but the one I'm selling will be just like it. Got a KK2 board and a clear top plate. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.